The Ancient Egyptian Trojan Horse During the 18th dynasty, one of the greatest military geniuses of all times, even greater than Alexander the Great and deemed by some as the Napoleon of Egypt, Tutmosis III. And one of his most notable conflicts with he destroyed a large Canaanite coalition in the Battle of Megiddo and which some call the Battle of Armageddon. Under the reign of Tutmosis III was the General Jehuti in which he took a city called Jaffa or Jaffa which is in modern day Israel, Tel Aviv. Now in the taking of Jaffa or Jaffa by Jehudi. Jehudi invites the prince of Jaffa to a party outside his, outside his town, in which he's camped out in. He knocks him out. He hides 200 of his soldiers in sacks and loads them onto animals. He sends a charioteer to announce to the town that the Egyptians have surrendered and are sending tribute. Once they're into the city, Jehudi commands his soldiers who are hitting to emerge from the hidden sacks and conquer the town. So as you can see, the ancient Egyptians used the first form of a Trojan horse, which metaphorically has come to mean any trick or strategy that causes a target to invite a foe into a securely protected place. And you know, you get the best of them. So, you know, that story predates the Greek story by a few hundred years. And so you can see a lot of the works found by the Greeks and the Romans were actually revised stories originally that took place on the African continent. Timo Cyrus is on the horizon. Thank you for watching. Peace.